Hi guys! So welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's episode, I will share sa inyo kung ano yung mga challenges and ga at gaano ba yung kahirap mag-move sa ibang country and ano ba yung yung masasabi ko so far living here sa Switzerland. Ayan. So, last video, nagbigay ako sa, sa inyo ng update kung ano na bang nagaganap sa aking life dito sa Switzerland. And now, um, share ko sa inyo ng, ng specifically doon sa kung paano ba yung life dito sa Switzerland. Ayan. So, it's a, cha it's, it's a bit challenging for me. You know, especially um, when you say Switzerland, oh, you're when every time I'm telling someone, no, um, I'm already living here in Switzerland because my friends are asking me, are you there for good na ba? Ganyan. And especially when I told them, oh yes, dito na ako nakatira, I moved here last, last month, ganyan. So, ayan. May background music tayo, guys. <laughs> That's the bell from the church. So, guys, we're always hearing that uh, bell every day. Yeah, so it's time to eat. <laughs> Ayan, so commercial lang yun, guys. Ayan. So pasensya na kung maingay dito, guys. So kung ano samut saring ang naririnig sa background. Ayan, so minsan lang naman yan. So malapit kasi kami sa mini airport dito. So ayan, so pasensya nyo na. Okay, go. so let's go back na sa ating topic. Ayan, so, pag sinabi kasi nating Switzerland, diba? Yo, wow, talaga, yung Switzerland, dream kong makapunta dyan, ayan, so, which is really true. When I first um, received my visit visa before, I'm so excited talaga to see Switzerland because when I was little, since um, I'm still working, studying, it's also one of my dream country talaga to visit, and Gusto ko rin sa, gusto ko na makapunta rin ako dito, ganyan. And now, I'm here living na sa Switzerland and sharing how to live here in Switzerland. Yan. So, um, it's not like uh, a fairy tale, guys. Ayan. So, hindi talaga siya parang namumuhay ka sa isang fairy tale when you live here in, when you move to a foreign country or specifically here in Switzerland. Kasi, um, when it comes to Swiss um, people, guys, um, they are very polite, you know. They are very kind. Wala akong masabi doon. Napaka-kind nila. Very polite. Very pe friendly. And they are re really type of people that they are really good in listening. Ayan. And they are very family-oriented. Siguro not all, no? But most uh, most of them no they are very like you know intact with their family and they always find time for their loved ones so ganyan yung mga swiss people and exactly my husband is yeah so they're very loving and thoughtful but one thing that is lacking is on how they are open you know like i think the openness yeah i i also read this in some um uh, testimony of a uh, immigrant here in Switzerland, no? which is true. Um, so, hindi na tayo lalayo. Yung husband ko kasi, ganun siya. And, kung hindi mo siya tatanungin, hindi niya sasabihin sa'yo. So, kailangan magtanong ka. Yan. So, hindi ko naman siya nakikita as a problem because if you will, if you know, you have this communication, eh. So, when you're in a relationship, you have to communicate. And I'm telling my husband naman na, oh, you have to tell me because not all the time I can ask you. So, that's the thing that maybe you can you can uh, encounter with Swiss people. Na. They are lack in openness. But, uh, so far, they're a really, really good person. Ayan. So, isa, isa sila sa mga uh, wonderful humans. <laughs> humans. Human creature in the world. Ayan. It's uh, bukod sa maganda yung bansa nila, magaganda din yung mga tao. Ayan, so, so first, yun, no? So, sa food naman, guys, wala namang naging problem din. Siguro, nasanay na rin ako na light meals. Ayan, so, ang challenge din sa akin, siguro, hindi lang naman ako, siguro sa lahat ng nag-move in sa ibang country, lalo na kapag non-speak, English-speaking country, no? Siguro yung language nila, ba? Siyempre, 
um, required naman talaga na mag-aral ka ng language nila, of course. And now, I'm waiting na lang for my school to start for my language class sa German. German school, German course, no? For level A1. And tatapusin ko yon hanggang level B2. Ayan. So, no rush naman. But, of course, I have this limit. Five years, guys. Five years, I have to finish my level A1 to level A2. Because we need to submit this paper to the migration. Um, yan. So, um, so, sa mga naka, hindi nakakaalam, ganun po yun. So, you have this limit like five years to learn their language but you know you can still get the this um resident permit naman but as long as you agreed na you will learn their language ayan so re it's really required so of course dahil hindi mo alam yung language nila it affect my confidence self confidence yan so i told my husband the other day i'm crying to to my husband because syempre um it's too much kasi in processing kasi sa, sa mind ko syempre nag move out, nag move in ka sa ibang country, malayo ka na sa family mo, and you give up your career, and now you have to start over, in zero like start from zero guys, so from scratch, it's like I told him na, para kung ipinanganak ulit, reborn ganyan, parang uh, kakasilang mo lang ulit, kailangan mo matutunan ulit lahat. Siyempre, nasa sa ibang bansa ka, hindi ka lang naman pumunta sa ibang syudad. ba Parang lahat iba eh. Yung pangalan mo, nag-iba na din. You have to, you have to deal with a lot of changes, with a lot of adjustments. And, and I told, told him that uh, I had this, um, you know, um, homesickness, and I also told him my my, I have this emotion struggle now na uh, I'm dealing with this I'm putting so much pressure on my head which is, I realized na hindi ko naman pala dapat i-pressure yung sarili ko kasi my husband is always telling me na don't pressure yourself, take step by step ganyan, so yan, so good thing I have this uh, supportive and very patient husband, ayan so um, it really help as well, no? Kapag meron kang mga tao na um, they are pushing you to to for na maging okay ka. Hindi ka nila pinipressure onto something. Ang mali lang siguro, you're pressuring yourself most of the time. Be because kasi, yung self-confidence ko pag lumalabas ako, sobrang alam mo yun, nag parang may panic attack na rin ako. <laughs> hindi naman sobrang masama. Parang natatakot ka, paano kapag uh, hindi mo alam yung sasabihin, kapag kinausap ka, ganyan, paano kapag may nangyari, tapos hindi mo alam yung sasabihin mo, kasi hindi mo ma-explain yung sarili mo sa language nila, ba? Ayan, so, um, nag-speak naman sila ng English, but not all of them. So, you have to really learn their language. So, syempre, kailangan, para mabalik ko yung confident na yun, kailangan, I'll do my best. To, to learn their language kasi it's also my my choice of course that's why I'm here I'm I settled down with my husband here in Switzerland so I had to deal with all of those oh that's my husband <laughs> of course <Mahal> kita. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird sweet yarn ayan so um it take a lot of courage as well for you to you know to proceed to the next step uh and then that's the challenge, the big challenge actually that I'm facing right now. And good thing I have this um also my family here, Swiss family, they're helping me as well. Some words, they're helping me to learn and to understand when they're talking and they're so sweet because every time they're talking, they're also translating it for me so I can also relate on what they're talking about. So they're very sweet, considerate and yeah, pe a Swiss people are very polite. Ayan, so if I will describe Swiss people so far for me living here for two months for Swiss people they are very polite they're very kind very timely and very thoughtful they're very they are very family oriented and they will find time for your uh, for their family no matter how they're busy and they're very sweet and they're very more on letters yeah, nagigive sila more on cards and expressing their gratitude to you. They're very grateful people, and 
they're very helpful and they're always so loving and caring and wala akong masabi on how pe Swiss people are they're very good humans yeah so um siguro ang downside maybe and also a bit challenging about their personalities also um they are lack in openness you know and and i think hindi lang naman Swiss people yung ganun but also sa lahat siguro no yung mga taong hindi nag open but sila kasi hindi talaga sila pala open eh um so hindi na tayo lalayo ng example no so my husband and i i talked to him because i noticed to him that um i told him that uh, pascal um you know you have to be also open to me if i will not ask you will not tell anything so we that's are we <laughs> we are doing our that's why you know that's why that's that's the very important thing when you're married and when you have when you have a partners you have to be uh good in communicating so i think that's that's the chal a bit challenging no so kaya dapat ako i need to ask him on what is the you know pag may tatanungin ka lang if, if you will not ask they will not tell you so that's that's it so i told my husband please tell me if i will not ask please tell me we, we talk about it and and we're working out you know every <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Swiss people are not very. Yeah, they are very open. open. They are very close. <laughs> close. <laughs> close. No, I. They are very private. So that's yeah. the, that's the very exact word. They are, no? they, yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah, they are private persons. So, um, well, that that that's how they are, and you have to deal with it. You have to understand that they're that's their culture, and you have to understand on how they la they they uh, they uh, yeah they have to understand their personality and of course you ha in your in a relationship you have to compromise you know and you have to adjust to each other and what they need what they cannot so that's that's how they are talaga eh. so but in terms of listening they are really really good in terms of listening when when you want to talk about something they will sit down and they will give time to you to listen so they are very good listener ayan so challenging challenge challenges challenging yan yeah, nabubul na si ate girl so ang challenge din sa akin syempre i cannot do more like i cannot do anything yet because i'm waiting for my residence permit i'm waiting for my certificates like this language certificate i need to learn the language and of course Langsam, sabi nga sa, sa Swiss, sa Swiss language, right? So, slowly. Yeah, so we will get there. For now, I need to wait for my school. Yeah, magsisimula na siya November 7. And, of course, nabanggit ko na nga yung challenge ko. Slowly, by slowly, by slowly. Gusto ko kasing mag-work. And I cannot do it, do it yet. So, that's my plan ahead in the future. If I already can uh, communicate well yeah because you know um back home in the philippines i'm a busy woman <laughs> i'm always um, busy over working over time and and yeah so i'm working so hard and now i'm it's new for me that i'm not doing anything as of now so but on good side is I discover that I love books pala. <laughs> I discover that I can I can discover I discover that you know I can read books and I to extend my vocabulary, my imagination and you know before when I was ho at home I realized then uh, uh I always want a rest. Now I God gave me a rest and my my brother and my my dad-in-law and my husband told me that I should enjoy this break because once my school started uh that will be the start that I will be busy I will you know be stressed again because of learning new things and I think this is also a blessing that I am you know not yet doing anything as of the moment because I know most of um nakaka-relate din naman siguro kayo no? especially kapag uh, you're married and not for 
not in a foreign country for work and you're settled down here to live a life here so i will learn everything step by step so i will i learn as well na in this uh, uh, switzerland made me realize na na you know na hindi hindi mo pala dapat kinapakomplicated yung mga things kasi swiss people are like that eh I notice as well that when they ask you something and when you answer them, they are okay with it. They will not ask any more about it. So in Philippines kasi when you explain yourself, when you when someone asks you and when you answer, they will ask so much and it will the and you know, sometimes you don't want to tell it but you have to tell it to them. Here, they are hap they are they will be happy when you answer this and they will be fine with it and and most of the time they don't want complicated things and they always want things to be done um you know nicely and you know in a good com com uh conversation and never akong nakarinig ng sumisigaw sila they are very calm person as well and that help which helps me because it makes me calm too and that's how my husband is um kumbaga sa i'm the fire and my my husband is the water <laughs> so alam na wag ako tense na tense ako fresher ha la 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 ganyan but he was like it's okay honey everything will be fine Sometimes don't, yeah. don't burn. It's yeah, some, okay. so, sometimes I'm sometimes I was I'm not relaxed and he was like so relaxed and Pascal I'm not relaxed. <laughs> Please don't relax too. But, yeah, it's like It's a good combination. Yeah, no? but that's what I really need because you know good balance. You know? <laughs> so and they have a very very peaceful neighborhood. So here marami kaming kapitbahay and the, the neighbors are so nice as well even though the for example for example lang ha wag kayong mang judge <laughs> for example mo, not, not all ha i'm not saying all so when back home in the philippines no if someone you will not invite someone and they will be pissed or mad at you and they will bad mouth of your event like oh, no, 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 no. here when we got our wedding, when we had our wedding last October, even if we don't invite them, they are the one who feel sorry. Um, doorbell to our at our house feel sorry that they don't know that we got married and they give these gifts with the thoughtful cards and greeting. And I think that's one of the best, um, you know, I observe here in Switzerland, like like what i said they're not complicating things and they are not people who's always thinking bad about you like you know they are very loving even hindi mo sila kilala they will treat you as you know family they will let you feel that you be you belong here and they're very ano talaga sweet yun talaga yung masasabi ko very sweet and thoughtful yung talagang masasabi mo ha ah, grabe ang, kaya pala ang peaceful ng Switzerland Switzerland is beautiful and peaceful not because of their ano eh not because of their nature it's because of the people living here it makes more Switzerland more beautiful I guess siguro sa mga tourists ang nakikita lang nila yung mga pisa pictures it's so beautiful very calming sobrang gandang mag picture pero when you live here you will realize that it's not about it it's all about it's about its people switzerland people is so nice they it makes their country more wonderful and hap and uh, you will your heart will stay here forever. Alam mo yun, nung nagbakasyon din ako, I want to stay here forever and now I'm here. And of course, guys, hindi naman sa, for all na like me who struggling the same, of course like homesickness, you you had to like always um um look back. This is what you prayed for and you have to deal with all of this cir um, circumstances, challenges and adjustments and loneliness because this is what you prayed for remember when you had when you had some when you had your when you have your prayer and you got 
it already and the moment you leave or you are living with that prayer and you ha you're starting to complain you're starting to you're starting to be lonely you will start to ah what if like this you always i always remind myself now this is what i prayed for this is what me and my husband prayed for for me to be here with him every day and these are the things that we discussed before i before i move here so this is actually <clears throat> not uh you know you have to be thankful still because you're here on what you prayed for and of course it's not easy you have to let it out it doesn't mean that you have to be grateful you don't you can you you cannot cry anymore you you cannot complain anymore you you have to deal with those because you choose you choose this life and we have to be strong as immigrants we have to be strong we have to fight and we have to always um you know look forward and you you can we can learn slowly long sum <laughs> long sum guys so we have to learn slowly and so on as the years goes by days goes by we will see ourselves from this day that oh i'm before i'm always nervous going to the train alone now i can go so anywhere without this feeling because now i can say i'm proud of myself i do this uh i can do this like that right so guys for all those immigrants like me comment down below share me your share share me your struggles if you had the same and help me as well and help it let's help each other to cheer up each other and you know we can do this guys and yeah that's all guys thank you for watching and and see you to the, our next video and thank you for watching our journey Ciao!